All right, so what's up guys and welcome. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I, I have no idea how this video is gonna do. I've got zero idea how this series will do, but considering a lot of you have been asking for it since we've been playing Valhalla, that's why I did Assassin's Creed 1 because of request. And now we've been seeing a lot of requests for Assassin's Creed 2, which is supposed to be the best one ever. I never really played a whole lot of it. I played a little bit of it. I have no idea what I'm going to be getting myself into, but I'm trusting your judgment. I don't usually like to ask for like, you know, good numbers and likes and stuff like that. But if we can have this video do well, I would really appreciate it. So if you enjoy it, consider dropping me a like. It would it'll really be nice right about now. I'm, I'm super excited, believe it or not. Although this is a really old game, it's nearly 12 years old already or something crazy like that. I'm doing these videos because I want to experience the entire Assassin's Creed storyline and of course bring you guys nostalgia. That's why I do these years later video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the epic, the legendary, the one and only Assassin's Creed Two. So here we find ourselves in the main menu of this game and there's many reasons to be excited for this game for this series But one of the main reasons for me is because I'm playing it on the computer I've got a 3090 graphics card, which I'm sure should be able to run this at max graphics settings I don't know why I thought I should say that but I, I I'm excited for it Okay, this is something I tried to do with the first one But I wasn't able to for whatever reason my computer was too modern to read the game or so I found out Anyways, enter the name. I'm gonna leave Desmond. There's no need to put my name. That'd just be killing the full vibe of this of this of this masterpiece. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Sorry. Let's do this. Whew. My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it. Using me to search for something. They call it the Apple. It's an artifact. One of many so-called pieces of Eden. Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. And she's gone now. She's taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what will happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here, and I need to do it soon. I love it. Love my it already. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. Oh, God. My name is Nathan Drake. <laughs> Woo. Dude, look at the difference already. How much neater it looks. Oh, my God. So, really quickly... Just to confirm, I'm not sure if this is the case, but towards the end of the last game, the Apple, when it opened up and it showed, it showed a globe with different locations, were those the locations of the different apples? Or can someone confirm, please? Anyways, we're here at the beginning of the end of the last Assassin's Creed game. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they now? Dude, it's a direct continuation. What in the world? Oh my god, this looks so much better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lucy, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Let's just do it. Desmond. Dude, this looks so much better. Holy smokes. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe 10 minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then. Wait, we're leaving? Desmond? I promise I'll answer all of your questions later, but right now I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please get in the animus. What did she? Right. Did she kill the old man? I mean, is this? Is, am I not going to ask up, any Desmond. questions? We're running out of time. Oh, 
I know I'm gonna say this a lot throughout the video, but it looks so much better. So we are subject 17. Subject 16, confidential. Give him. Oh, it is a boy. Is that the assassin? Is that Ezio? Oh, my love. Me dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? I think it was. Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. No way. <laughs> Press X to uh, move your armed hand. Dude, what the hell? This kid's already fighting. He was just born. Oh, he's a fighter for real. <laughs> this is awesome. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Dude, that is so dope. Get up. Let's go. So is Ezio yeah, subject? Well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Who is subject 16? Is it Ezio? Oh my goodness. Oh, dude, this, this looks so much better. I'm sorry. You're really getting out of here, huh? Stergo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. Hey! You're not supposed to be up here! Open this door! I'm calling it in. We have a breach in the research. Dude, this must have been such an been improvement when it first place. came out, like well, literally just be... leaving the Let's building. They... There they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, whoa! Since when? Since when? Since when? Holy shit! Damn, Lucy. Look at this place. Oh my goodness. What the heck? What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. Who but are they're you? They're on to us now. We need to hurry. Who are you, woman? Do they need to remake this game? Careful. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead. But keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Okay. Dude, this is wicked. Is that an animus? Wait, that is an animus. Wait. Stay with How me. many do they have? For all the subjects? What the? How many of them are there? Wait. I wonder if they did that just so they can plan out possible Animus future games. Animi? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy? What do they need with all of them? Desmond. Dude, this is so much better already. What the heck? Just this portion of the game. <laughs> Playing as Desmond. I've, I've ran more. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Eagle vision, maybe. Shit. Oh, come on. 
How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. It's always something. What was that in the animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Oh. Get where? Bro, why am I so excited? Oh, we're about to fight. Bro, hold on. I don't remember how to fight. Okay, so we don't have any counterattacks. Okay, oh, I thought we did. Damn, Desmond can throw hands, bro. I guess we can just block. Oh, oh, okay. Desmond with the wombo combo. Bro, Lucy is a badass. I'm sorry. We're getting in the Mercedes. Get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Dude, this... I, I can't even imagine how people must have felt when this game first came out. Is literally seconds maybe minutes maybe maybe a couple days after maybe a few hours actually after the ending of the first one this is incredible thanks for that it was great it shoved in the trunk bouncing around Love this it. way so you gonna tell me what's going on now there was a reason for the escape desmond Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Whoa. Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Hey, come on here, sugar. Hold on, give me a sec. Yo, this is like super open world. I'm guessing eventually we'll go inside these doors or one of these. I don't know. Oh my god, this is crazy. Lucy, you made it. God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code.
what in the world so this is like a whole different animus now so we just been kidnapped from one spot to the next what's all this stuff for this stuff desmond oh this stuff is nothing special really this stuff it's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart really it requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving so you'll forgive me if i don't have time to play meet and greet sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives it's like a digital library he'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the animus so if you come across anything of note people places events etc he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. What's up with this dude? Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Already a big improvement from the first. I just, I wonder really, I mean, I've heard speculation as to why they changed from Altair to Ezio. And I'm not complaining. I hear Ezio is just fantastic. He's the best character, you know, according to people, or at least one of the best ones. But I wonder why they took out Altair. I mean, it's not like they take him out completely. You still get to, you still get to see him, I guess, eventually. So that is an animus. That's just a different type of animus. Or hey, listen. Maybe I just wanted to say thank you, and that uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, you know, before everything at Abstergo, it was just I wasn't ready. It's okay. No, going through all that, knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. Can I speak to you or interact with this? No. Well, at least this looks a lot cooler. Just saying. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0 since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. I mean, like I said, it, it, it already looks better. It, it looks great. I'm, see, now I'm willing to lend you a hand and go in this animus so how does this work of course deep breath ah oh what are you a tiny child sean well here we go oh here it is beginning of the beginning so i guess it's subject 16 Ezio. So this is where oh Republica Fiorentina Fiorentina Sets you. Yes, it is. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor. Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we. Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! Buonasera, Viena. We were just talking about you. 
I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself? Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. <laughs> Well, he's a lot he's more enthusiastic than Altair, that's for sure. Wait, is that how he broke? Broke his lip? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. So we got a counter. Can we counter right off the bat? Okay, let me just punch. Let me just start punching people. There's actually blood here. I don't recall seeing people bleeding on the first one. Oh. Hold to deflect. Hold on, deflect what? It's a fight. <laughs> Hold on, bro. Oh, we can already counter. That's awesome. And we can wow. top people. <laughs> Oh, the combat is so much better. Even though it doesn't look like I am, like I'm better myself, but I'm just experimenting here, okay? Hey, behind you! Oh, Federico, what are you doing here? I wanted to see if baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Oh, he scarred his eye. And <laughs> you have style, but endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. Okay, here we go. So grab an enemy, uh, an enemy you've locked onto. So use to choose the to choose the direction. Oh, okay. Self-explanatory. Oh, shit. Come on, chumps. Oh my god, he fights so good. Holy heck. Bro, his combos are sick. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh no. Ow! Can I grab him on the ground? Oh, you can pick them up. Nice. Yo, that's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Ezio, you savage. It, it, it's crazy how much better the combat is. Like that little spinning back fist he does is amazing. It feels so fluid. This guy's gonna throw a rock at me. Oh, he threw it at my friend. I wish you could grab him and punch. Can I grab him and punch him? No, I can't. <laughs> Fall back! Fall back! Hold on. What? We want us won this. Bro. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I've no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Give me some floorings then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> <laughs> Search them. <laughs> There's bound to be something in their pockets. Oh. So press uh, to view your current objective. Okay, so boys will be boys. Fight a Vieri de Pazzi's men. <laughs> Loot 400 florins to pay for the doctor. Oh my god, this is so much better. Just like, just, just the mission itself. This is amazing. And now you can loot when they're down. You don't have to do it like pickpocketing only and stuff like that. Wow. This is incredible. I'm so happy right now. Alright, so we've got 60 florins. Damn, this guy's gonna have more than 200. Ooh. That should be enough. 
Let's get uh, out of here before uh, the guards down, man. I need more. No? Okay. 456. Boys, we'll be. Dude, this is so cool. Why am I freaking? I'm nerding out right here. What is this? Oh, now we have a little uh, marker for the mission. Hold on, bro. I, I, need, I need to loot these guys. These guys are scumbags. We can't let them leave here without their money. I mean, come on now. Or we can't let them leave here with money. They must leave without any money. Federico Audiotore. Ah. Uh, what is what who is he? Let's see. The database. Ezio's older brother. Oh my god, that's my older brother, of course. And the eldest Adiotore, Federico entered the Medi Medici Bank as a clerk when he was 19. However, the bank uh, the bank's logs indicate he mostly dicked around rather than actually working. One entry goes into detail on September 17, 1475. Uh, a bag of gold florins went missing. After panic struck the bank. An elder of the authority approached Francesco Sassetti and with a smile revealed the location of the bag which had been hidden on the rooftop. Be warned the son of a Giovanni of the authority. I'd be um, I'd speak to Lorenzo de Medici, Medici and have him put it into stocks. Unsurprisingly, Federico was removed from the bank's payroll shortly after his 20th birthday. Damn, so we got him. That's my brother right there, bro. Hurry, Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. He probably mentioned that I just missed it like an idiot. Okay, so follow Federico to the doctor. Yeah, just the missions in general are much different. It it, it just the missions are completely different. Well now, what's he doing? So I'm, I'm guessing the parkour is probably relatively the same. I, I want to say it might be a. <clears throat> Might be a little a little bit smoother considering it's you know a follow up to the first. A weekly bleeding is part of a balanced healthy lifestyle. Ben trovato, doctor. Hmm, fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. <laughs> there we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. This way. So access the database. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do this every time, but I just want to see what the heck. I think those were the doctors back in the day, right? Diagrams of the human body and the printing press influenced Renaissance medicine greatly, which had its turned, which had not which had in turn been influenced by the Arabic medicine during the Middle Ages. He heals you if you pay him. Quite the night. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father's sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. Uh, let's see if we can On win. The count this. of three. Uno, due, tre. Okay, here we go. Baby brother still has much to learn. <laughs> I almost feel bad about this. No. Ah, oh, no shame and failure, brother. Oh, I got it. Nice. Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. Oh, my God. This is crazy how much different it is in the first one. It's like, it's almost like it's not even the same game. I mean, it is, but you know what I mean? Like, it's just the way the story is driven is complete. It feels so much more organic. Like, the first one was very direct and very repetitive. This I can already tell this is not going to be like that. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. Oh, that, that Assassin's Creed little... 
I'm already in love. I'm sorry. That quote right there. And may it never change us. And boy, oh boy, will it change you. Oh, All right. heck. Enough of that. We really should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. <laughs> there will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. So pay a surprise visit to the beautiful Cristina Vespucci. Ooh. So, I don't, you probably can't. Can we use sync points in this game to fast travel? Probably not, huh? Yes. Oh, yes. So it's Vieri. Better hide. Keep looking! He couldn't have gotten far! Oh no. Okay, so social status icons identify the level of danger and position. Oh my god, and we have a mini map, dude. I just realized that. I forgot that the last time we didn't have a mini map. The last time there was no mini map. <laughs> oh my god, that's so true. There was no mini map. It was literally just. Okay. So where's this chick? So down below. Here we go. Christina. Christina. Who's there? Me. Oh, it's you. I should have known. May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. <laughs> well, wait. Uh, that came out wrong. She said indeed. Holy hell. Come here. Oh. Oh, it's you. Oh, what the heck? I wanted to interact. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's better we don't. Oh shit. Things got crazy, huh? Things got a little naughty. Does that you have a son? Christina! Christina! Elia, your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, me Oh, my God! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! No, no. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! Oh, oh God! There's really no need for violence. Hey, listen, man, it was only a one night stand. I mean, it kind of. No, it wasn't. That's the. Okay, hold on. You have me confused with someone else. Yes, it wasn't me at all. She it was... needed some help with some things. Yeah, she she needed help with her I'm homework. Mostly innocent. <laughs> Holy heck, this is awesome. Bro. Okay, so now I gotta lose. If I leave the. Uh, the warning area. I'm assuming I'm I'm clear, right? Maybe. Oh my god, that's so much better. Holy heck, they don't keep chasing you. It's amazing. I can't believe I've never played this game to this extent, bro. I I, I hate myself for this. Okay, we should be able to. Here we go. Oh, that's her father. Good morning, father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these 
misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done. Deliver the Giovanni's letter to Lorenzo de, Me de Medici? Medici? Yeah, dude, dude, like, the missions are just, like, real, real missions. It's not the same thing, like, Assassin's Creed 1, honestly, all it is, it's just interrogations, investigations, investigations, assassinated, investigations, investigation, investigation, assassin. That's all it is. Obviously, it's good because of the story and Altair and his, his adventure, but as far as gameplay, oh my god, this is, like, way, way superior. The rooftops of Italy. This is Italy, right? Perfect. All right, so we're going to go over there. Shouldn't be too far. I'm also really happy because we're doing it on the computer. Obviously, it's going to be a lot nicer. The graphics, graphic fidelity is just far superior. Because it's not like a port over from like, I mean, it is, but still, we'd be seeing like PS3 graphics or something crazy like that. Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid. And not expected back for at least another day. I let my father know. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta return back to our father. Nice. Oh, I see something over there. Let's see what that is. Nice. What is this? Oh, can I loot that again? I think I found one earlier. And it gave me money. Yeah. Alright, let's drop down here. Perfect. Wait, is that our brother? Keep up the good work. Biscero. <laughs> you worry too much, Giovanni. Francesco Di Pazzi is in prison. The threat is ended. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. I don't like the vibes. Paperboy. I don't like the vibes, bro. Okay, so Claudia, that's my sister. So the memory starts, are those main missions? Are those the main missions? So this is probably a main mission. Hey, Claudia. How are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. <laughs> Wait here. I'll go have a word with him. Okay. Beat a cheat. About a beat her sister's ex-boyfriend up. This is epic. 
Use the map to locate the objective side quest. You can also set your own GPS marker in the end. Oh my god, he climbs so fast. Mind you, this is me coming from like playing recent Assassin's Creeds and stuff like that. But I'm so used to the first one since that we just played that a day ago. He feels ultra speed, man. Oh, dude, so epic. I love how also the missions are pretty close to each other. I don't have to ride a horse for like 16 miles. We're about to beat this man's ass. <laughs> is it down? Is it in there? Wait. Oh, he's surrounded by women, isn't he? Oh my God. It's beautiful. Nothing but the best for you. Amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Oh, Birbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Lurido Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che te piglia! You insult my sister. Parading around with this puttana. Oh. Well, what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. Oh my god. Bro. You auditores all talk me. But when it comes time for action, ha! You regret ever opening your mouth. <laughs> I could have taught your sister you a great afraid? many things. What? She's lucky to have oh, had really? someone like me. Oh. Bastardo. No way. I don't know if we no could do that. Is this like new? We couldn't do it earlier. Oh hell yeah, I'm gonna knee him. Epic right in the nuts. Stay away from my sister. <laughs> Beat up episodes are now available. <laughs> Okay, so now we gotta get the heck out of here. So, are the. I, I think I asked you earlier, but, but just to confirm, the exclamation marks are all main missions, correct? Those are main missions. I really hope they are. What is that up there? Oh, that's the other viewpoint. Holy smokes. I'm gonna have to do that eventually. All right, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna do these two missions and see where it where it leads to the story, and then depending on that, we'll. Oh shoot! I almost died. Who's this? My mother? Yeah, I think it is. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come, it's not far from here. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco Di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still. I wish there was another way. You have nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. So in this game, it looks like you can actually pickpocket 
but it's automatic or you got to press a or something it's interesting Bottega di Leonardo Afriense. Here we are. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. <laughs> Mother. Back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, art was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo, I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. It's crazy how similar their language is to just flat out Spanish. I can almost understand what they say. It's crazy. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anchio. Okay, that was simple. So I guess the next main mission would be hey, Ezio. Friends of the family. And who's this? Is this my little brother? It's a big family. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Okay, Petruccio's secret. Obtain eagle feathers for Petruccio before he gets in trouble. Okay, sneaking out of bed. Okay, so this is kind of like that mission from AC1. Pretty cool. Okay. Now, where are your feathers? <laughs> yeah, it's only three, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, I love the backdrop music. Got another feather here. Oh, there's another chest down below, too. Right here, we've got a viewpoint. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to that viewpoint. Oh, wait. Feather acquired. Return Okay, so we're good. We can kind of synchronize ourselves here real quick. Can we? No? Really? You can't jump up there? Oh, I see. Dude, how fast, bro. So fast with it. Alright, cool. Excellent. <laughs> That's awesome. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Okay. All right, so that's done. And then we've got another mission here. Hmm. Other locations unlocked. Okay. Should we do this? Let's do it. Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. 
I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? Deliver two letters and retrieve a third from the pigeon coop. But Giovanni, then return to him. Ah, easy peasy, Dad. We got this. We've got this. The first. Wait, what does the letter say? The database. Recent people, location, documents from Giovanni Adiotori. Al magnifico Lorenzo di Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond the satisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well, our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan, the scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time, and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfalonieri until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. I like how they read it for us. Yes. Giovanni has sealed this letter. It won't, uh, it'll be wrong to open it. <laughs> okay, so that was the, uh, that was the, the first letter, I think, that we had to deliver to the, uh, for the last mission. One of the last missions we did for him. Okay. But now I know that he'll read it for me, so I might, I might, would you guys like me to do that? Or would you just want me to skip all that, like, document crap I mean if he's gonna read it for us hell yeah I mean I'm down I don't know let's, let's you guys find it too much of a hassle thank you you Giovanni's kid no idiota he just happens to look exactly like the man <laughs> give it here don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not. Was that... Was that for that guy? He looks a little sus, man. Just saying. Alright. Next up. Nah, it's not too far off, actually. Yeah, that's one of the big differences right off the bat from this one to uh, the first AC. Traveling. It's very, very insignificant. Everything's right around the corner. Obviously, we're starting off at the beginning of the game. Everything's, you know, it's, it's a very busy town. So it makes sense. Okay, so is it... Here, over here. Oh, okay. I gotta sync up here. We don't have anything on the minimap. I have a delivery from... Giovanni Alatore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait! Come back! Explain yourself! What the hell? Oh my god, this story is so rich. It's so intense. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so I think a lot of us could relate to this because he's a young kid. You know, you play you play 
a lot of the Assassin's Creed games, you play as like an older individual on his own. Like Ezio's got a family, a brother, a sister, a mom, a dad. And I don't know. It feels I feel like that plays a lot into the story of this game. I mean, I don't know. Eventually we'll find out, see how it affects us. But that's how I'm feeling right now. Okay, what the heck? Oh, wow. What would make a man so is it up top? Up above? Oh, it's gotta be. Oh, here it is. Oh, the pigeon, of course. Hold, uh... To use a contextual camera when alternate cam is displayed. What? So do we send the pigeon for the message? Yeah, we did. Chests contain money to reveal their locations, buy maps from art merchants. Nice. Spend money to make money. Makes sense. Welcome to Business Class 101, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. We're back. Back home, Dad. Father? Federico. Serezio! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria, to prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. What the hell? Are you all right? Yes, but mother, she's in shock. They, when she resisted. She... It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes, to my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as what well. What the hell? Reach Giovanni Solo at the top of the uh, Palazzo della Signora. I hate how I try to sound Italian when I read this. <laughs> Find out why he's been in prison. All right, let's go rescue dad from prison. This is crazy. What the heck just happened? Being notorious means guards are suspicious of you. React to your actions. Presence. Protection. When the meter fills with yellow, it means the guards are investigating. When it feels red, it means they're about to attack. Okay. I love how much how much rooftops there is in this game. You pretty much don't even have to be underground. You know? So let's see. Not too far off. I want to say it's up there. Top of that church. Yes, it is. There it is. Okay, so how do we reach that? How do we... We need to get that sink point anyways. We have, like, no information on this portion of the, uh, of the map. Okay, can we go there? Let's see. When falling, press to hold to grab onto ground. Yeah, it's not there. Alright, we're gonna have to jump up here. Yep. See if we can get this guard. Some areas are off limits and guards will react swiftly when they see you. Oh my god. This is too much. What's the push button? I didn't see anything. Was it the same button as grab? <laughs> Oops. Alright, dude. Is that a pigeon feather? Let me get that. That's for my little bro right there. There's another one there too. Or whatever feather this is. My father is imprisoned upstairs. I must rescue him. After that, that is me dad. Right, 
here we go. Oh shit, we gotta be careful. Oh, and there's also a sink point. Yo, listen up here, Dad. I'm sorry. I don't know if you're here or not, but uh, oh, what the heck? Come here. Oh, the combat is so good. Fantastic combat. Hold on, dude. I'll be back for you. Just give me a sec here. Okay, so maybe go around. Go to the window. No. Oh, my God. Fuck. All right, perfect. I almost fell, dude. If I would have fallen, I would have been dead. Okay, so don't press A when you're moving along the ledge. It means you're probably going to commit suicide. Not a very smart move here, Ezio. Ezio. Oh, what the hell? Father, what's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain! There is no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the Pigeon. It said, go Ezio. Go now. Oh no. Oh dude. I feel so bad. For his father. Hold on, let me sync up dad, what the hell? Oh my god. So there's a there's a chest, a hidden door. Was Ezio's father part of the assassins? Ooh. Or not? I don't know, but that that sounds like it would make perfect sense. He would be like the chosen one, you know? That'd be insane. Do they imprison this man literally all the way up here? Holy smokes. Wow. Insane. Absolutely insane. Should we do it? I'm going to leave it for the next episode. The next episode will start off with us jumping down the cliff or at the cliff, the, you know, the sink point. <laughs> but uh, here's my first impressions of this game so far. I think... It is far beyond like like the feeling that I have playing this game. It, it's so it's so rich. I don't know if it's because it's coming off of the first one, which was very linear and very repetitive, or if it's because Ezio is such a good character. Like his story so far is amazing. He's he's got a beautiful big family, a brother, a smaller brother, um, a sister, and his father, his mother. Fantastic. You know me. I'm all about family. So this this this. This is dope. I, I really, really like this. Anyways, guys, we're going to end it here. I honestly would want to continue, but I feel like something important is going to happen. So we'll leave that for the following episode. We'll see how this video does. If you guys would like to see daily Assassin's Creed 2 videos here on the channel, drop this video a like. And I will catch you on the next one.